Adderall, Vyvanse, and Ritalin are all prescription medications given by medical professionals to treat ADHD. These three medications all have more similarities than they do differences. They all increase focus, suppress appetite, induce insomnia, and get you zinging. Similarities aside though, let's get into some of the differences between the three. Personally, I've had a bunch of experiences with these drugs throughout the years, so I'm gonna go over what I like and don't like about each substance. When I was in college, I would use these to study all the time. Plus, I take them before all my exams and when writing my essays. The first one in particular I want to talk about is Vyvanse, also known as Listex Amphetamine. Vyvanse is one of the longest lasting ADHD medications out there. It'll last at least 8 hours, usually around 10 to 12. I find it to be the most consistent for lasting all day long, and it's a pretty smooth ride from start to finish. I also get the most euphoria with Vyvanse. In larger amounts, it can yield similar effects to rolling on MDMA. It makes me more excited and very jubilant about whatever I'm doing. It'll definitely put you in a good mood. Switching over to Ritalin or Methylphenidate, I find this medication to work more in the background. I don't feel as blatantly stimmed out or wired. It's able to increase my general focus without giving me the feeling of having like an electrical wire wrapped around my skull. It makes me feel like I'm operating on a consistent frequency and I'm able to get into my flow state much more easier. Unlike Vyvanse, Ritalin offers both immediate release and extended release forms. Immediate release tends to kick in faster and lasts about four to six hours. On the contrast, extended release lasts for about 10 to 14 hours. This means that the extended release form is meant for consuming in the morning. Otherwise, you'll be up all night long. Immediate release has a shorter duration, so it can be taken in the evening and still wear off early enough that you'll be able to go to bed at a reasonable time. Moreover, Adderall, aka amphetamine, also comes in the forms of IR and ER, so both Adderall and Ritalin can be utilized to fit different duration preferences. Personally, I prefer the IRs because if I want it to last longer, I'll just take another pill after the first one wears off. Based off my experience, I find it much easier to get randomly distracted on Adderall than the other two. Distracted in the sense that I end up doing what I want to do rather than what I should do. Like sometimes when I gotta force myself to study, I'll pop an Adderall, only to end up playing video games the whole time and wasting it. For some reason, Adderall makes me more prone to making impulsive decisions. 